sounding total gibberish. This time, it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killings. We will be charging four counts of first-degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. But it turns out, much of what she was signing was nonsense. She waved her arms around like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged sign language expert. The woman, identified as Derlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high-profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Steve Hegarty told me the woman simply showed up out of the blue and offered her services. An embarrassing uh, revelation today. People who had watched that ceremony on the television uh, yesterday around the world and people who are actually in the stadium will have seen on the stage a man who appeared to be doing a sign language. Now today it has emerged certainly the Deaf Federation of South Africa has said that that man was a fake, that he was appearing to make a uh, communication through sign language, but it was actually meaningless hand movements that he was doing. Now, the South African government is saying it is preparing a statement, but obviously they're going to be very fundamental questions about how this individual got onto the stage close to dignitaries like uh, Barack Obama, world leaders uh, from right across the globe. How did he get up there? I mean, it's a really fundamental question in terms of security, but I think it's also fundamentally a very embarrassing, and it will be infuriating, clearly, to the deaf community, certainly in South Africa and around the world, because they would have liked that person, if there was someone on the stage supposed to be doing language, sign language, doing precisely that. To natives who had never witnessed advanced technology, the sight of giant metal birds touching down looked to them as if the gods themselves had turned the earth into a planetary pit stop. So what they did then was they began going to the old airstrips and they would build mock wooden airplanes to try and get those planes to come back from the sky and deliver the cans of corned beef to them again.